and has been sentenced for her role in the shooting of a George Webb server back in January of 2022. 12 News' Mallory Anderson was inside of the courtroom as that woman learned her fate. Mallory, what's the latest? So, Deanna, Brianta Johnson was just sentenced to six years in prison. The judge sentenced her to 10 years altogether, six behind bars, four more years of extended supervision. You're going to take a look now of cell phone video of the day of that shooting a year and a half ago. Brianta Johnson pleading guilty to first degree reckless injury. Prosecutors say her sister Brianna Johnson was upset over a food order and arguing with the server Anthony Rodriguez. They say Brianta then went to her car, retrieved the gun and gave it to Brianna, who then shot the server in the face. In court, the judge said Brianta was not as culpable as her sister in this case, but that her actions were very serious and could have resulted in Rodriguez's death. Johnson was in court today, but had her lawyer read this statement to the judge. And I am acknowledging I made a very poor decision and I pray one day that Mr. Rodriguez can find it in his heart to forgive for what I've done. And I know you were not the shooter, but the public has to be protected from this. The public has to know that arguments and disputes aren't going to always lead to gunfire. And if they do lead to gunfire, that there's going to be significant criminal consequences. The server, Anthony Rodriguez, spent upwards of six months in a neck brace and had a quarter of his teeth replaced after the shooting. He was not in court today, but did attend Brianna's sentencing in March. He said that day was a step towards healing. Again, Brianna Johnson will spend six years behind bars. Her sister, Brianna, uh, was sentenced to 10 years in March with five more years of extended supervision after that. All right, that sentencing coming down within the hour. Uh, and even watching that video back, Mallory, just very shocking to see. Mallory Anderson reporting live from the Milwaukee County Courthouse this morning.